Hi, I'm George Steimer, Product Manager with TSG. If you're following along with the TSG Compliance Solution Demo Series, we're building upon a scenario where we want to update our dis Disaster Recovery SOP, specifically to add a server to the Thursday backup schedule. In this demo, we're going to focus on the route for review process uh, in this whole change scenario. So we're, right here, we're looking at the change request that we created in the last demo. We can see it's in draft and it has our SOP attached to it. We can uh, see the SOP and the changes that we made. We can jump back to the change request here. Um, we also have some actions on the change request. Um, we could go ahead and edit it if we needed to make more changes. We're going to focus on this uh, route for review. So the route for review is a pretty open process. Um, in the last demo, both Alice and Mike were selected as approvers, so by default they're reviewers. But we could also, you know, add and remove people at will. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just send it to Alice for this demo. Uh, she was the initial QA or IQA role. Um, so I'm just going to say we're going to send it to review just to her and go ahead and submit it. So once this submits, uh, the first thing you'll notice is that the status of this went to in review. So the status of the form has changed. And if we reload the PDF, the overlay changes here for in review uh, to show that status as well. So I'm going to go ahead and log out. And we can see that uh, Alice has received a email that says she has a task uh, in ready for her for review. You can go ahead and just click this, which will load the login screen. And after she logs in, she's taken right to where she needs to go to the, um, to the form to process her review. So typically in a review process, uh, what we're doing here is adding annotations to mark up the documents and make comments. Uh, so what we might do is say, you know, hey, this, this description of change needs to be a little bit more robust. So we go ahead and annotate the document, which launches it in our Open Annotate product. Um, so the nice thing about Open Annotate, you can take a look at uh, it on our website as well, but uh, the nice thing about it is it's completely browser-based. So there's no uh, need for any Adobe or other client-side installs. So what if we just want to put a circle around here and maybe make a comment to say something like, uh, please be more specific and mention the server name. And now we can go ahead and save our annotation. And then we can just jump back here and we can see that the items now marked annotated. We can also do the same thing with the document. So I could load the document in here and execute the uh, action to annotate this document as well. Uh, and maybe right here, we, you know, like the rest of the change of the document, but the user forgot to uh, add to this table. And now we can save our annotations and head back over and, and again see that the item's annotated. So at this point, our review is finished. Um, and we can go ahead and complete our review, which just uh, completes our task. So after the review process, the uh, status of the document has gone back to draft. So the initiator receives an email that says that the route for review has been completed. So we again can go ahead and click on this link and log in as the initiator. And uh, now again we can see our task. Um, we can also take a look at the audit history to see that Alice completed. And we can also look at the annotations on the document to see what she said during her review. And we can do the same thing for the document. So let's go ahead and make those quick changes. We'll do the form first. 
and you can just go ahead and come in here to edit the form. And we can just jump to our description and rationale page. And we can finish our changes. So we can see that change has been made here. We can go ahead and do the same thing to the document. Go ahead and check out the document. And make our change. We save our changes and now check in the document. So we can see our change. Uh, one thing too we can take a look at is we can also see prior versions so we can actually compare the 1.2 to the 1.1 side by side. Well, that's it for this demo. Thanks for listening. Be sure to follow along with the next demo on the TSG Compliance Solutions series where we will show how uh, we're going to route this change request in the document for approval. Thanks again for listening.